Hello guys, today I'm going to share to you my 6 month Fortnite keyboard and mouse progression video. I'd like you guys to please like and subscribe because my goal is to hit 3000 subscribers by the end of the year. Also a side note before getting into the video is that my 100 day progression was 100 days of me playing Fortnite, whereas this 6 month progression covers those 6 months including the days I didn't play. At the beginning I was practicing a lot in creative. But as I played in my study, because I hadn't got my keyboard and mouse yet, or my new PC, it meant I played on a really scuffed setup, without proper equipment. This ended up resulting in me probably not being able to perform as well as I could, and slowed my progression down at the start. But the thing that helped me a lot was I already understood how to be a better player, because I'd played comp a lot on controller. So knowing this, I tried to use this to help me with my mechanics to improve a lot quicker. Throughout the next few days, I continued playing the game in a lot of creative. I would sit in Panville's 1v10 delay map a lot. All the creative map codes will be below by the way. And I just practiced free building endless hours. I'd also watch some pros and see how they free build and try and teach myself how to improve. My end goal was to become a good competitive player. So I started to practice things like tarping and learn peace control as they will be the most important things for me to become the best player I could. I wanted to get a win to end my first week off, and I ended up getting a squad win. Following that though, I challenged myself more, and ended up getting myself a ranked win to end my first week of keyboard and mouse. Following the first week, in my second week, I began by trying to learn some triple edits and quad edits. And while I was doing this, I also tried to teach myself some new retakes, so I'd be able to build fight a lot easier. Once I understood this, I actually ended up getting chicken pox, which was a blessing in disguise because I ended up being able to play Fortnite a lot more often. I ended up playing some zone wars because I wanted to teach myself how to play end games for future tournaments coming up. Soon enough, I would actually end up playing my first tournament, playing the solo victory cash cup. I had no clue what I was doing, but I wanted to see how my current skill level would compare to other people's skill level and I wanted to see if I had any chance at qualifying for the finals. After a few more consistent and good games, I somehow ended up qualifying for the finals. In the finals, if you win one game, you earn $100. So this was my chance to maybe get my first earnings. week of my progression. Despite playing a little bit of creative, I focused more on the new season and playing some battle royale and ranked, as I wanted to try and get to a higher rank and improve my individual fighting ability. I played a lot with my friends during this time, and unfortunately my tournaments didn't go as well as I wanted and I didn't do very well. After concluding my third week, in my fourth week and the end of this first month of my keyboard and mouse progression, I would sit in creative and in game and I just practice my fighting skills. I played lots of build fights, speed realistics. I was just really trying to become an excellent fighter. It was time for the duo cash cup where I was only able to play a few games of the cash cup and I didn't know what to expect because our previous attempt was very bad and we played horrible. But this time we ended up making it to the end game and this is how we did. They're hard.
clutching up and getting us second place to conclude my first month on keyboard and mouse. Beginning my second month on keyboard and mouse, I ended up killing a Fortnite pro called Power Worthy. And following this, I tried to focus more on competitive this season, as with tournaments around the corner and FNCS, I needed to do very well. They're on our wall. On the wall. 126. Swimming, swimming, look at him. Cracked. He carried me. Cracked. Wait, what did you say? I, I got three builds. Jump, ready? Just jump on him. He cracked. Nice. Dead. Following that Dura Cash Cup, it was time for FNTS. In my first week in FNTS, I didn't play very well, so I don't have the recordings here. But in the second week, we ended up actually getting a win in the FNCS qualifier, despite still not doing very good. But that gave me some motivation and taught me how to play height a lot better as an IGL, which in the following tournaments resulted in me getting a lot more wins often, and gave me motivation that maybe we can one day get a win in the solo victory cash car. I continued playing the Dura Cash Cups and I started getting more and more wins as I became more confident and started knowing what to do as an IGL, which also means in game leader. Oh, other one's on me, other one. Chill, chill, chill. He took a wall. I, I killed the other one. Can you get to me? No. Dead. He's in these builds right here. We can come down together. I'm popping slip, I'm popping slip. Wait, yeah, he's got to come back, he's got to come back. Let's He's trying to contest. Cracked him. Boxed him. Um. It's a 1v1. I mean, 2v1. Let's go. Let's go. I was starting to play better and better in the Dury Cash Cup, but unfortunately, one thing that was really holding me back, I think, was my lack of confidence as a fighter. As we're only getting around 20 kills in most Dury tournaments, and in solos, I was getting 7, not always even averaging a single kill a game. So with this in mind, I wanted to improve, and with the FNCS Community Cup around the corner, I decided to use that as a good way to W key and become a better fighter. Crack me. Oh, I got. Oh, I'm I'm low. Oh, I only got hit for ninety. Oh, up. No. Good. Ninety-three. Yeah. Thirty-one. One, one's low. It's just one last one. I'm quickly popping a slurp. Sure, maybe. Crack. Oh, nice. Following the FNCS Community Cup, I decided to play the last tournament of the season with Jacob, which was the Duro Cash Cup. We actually played very well in this tournament, and I made some really good end games. And it's probably the best fighting I've done in end games in my life, and especially on keyboard and mouse. Since there was only a few days left in the season, in this tournament we were trying to be more aggressive and try and get more kills, and also play for the win and go for high ground as much as we could. Also here are some of the clips that I got in this third month, just to show you my creative progression. Oh, window! Stop boxing on. With chapter 4, season 4 being released, I decided to start grinding ranked at the start of the season, and this was my first ranked win with some of my friends. Following ranked, I decided to start trying to practice my end games, and I would play in pro zone wars against some pros with over 10k earned. Laggy. 
after playing some end games and maybe not doing the best, but I think I learned a lot from it. This concluded my third month on keyboard and mouse. Going into month four, with no FNCS in the season, I focused more on my individual ability. And in this cash cup, my teammate has to go AFK. And I think this is a defining moment of my individual ability increasing significantly. Kill him! Nice, nice. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Go, go, go. Jump in. Get, get that guy, he's low. Top, on top. Nice. Watch out, watch it. Block him back, block him. Nice, nice. Kill him. <laughs> nice, good aim. Nice, leave him. He'll, he'll die, he'll die. Go, just rotate. I ended up getting one more kill and going down in the Duo Cash Cup game. And despite my individual ability improving, in the next Cash Cup, I got my most kills ever as a team. However, we didn't place very well and my placements weren't really improving that much. And I felt like I'd reached a skill cap. And even if my aim, I think, was getting way better and my mechanics were becoming more smooth and consistent, my placements weren't really translating. So going into my fifth month, I started off pretty quick by getting my first top 100 in a tournament. I got this in the Durofil Cup and I played very consistent. I didn't get too many kills, but I think I was proud that I actually finally got a good placement. Dead. Good shit. Oh, he jumped on me. He jumped behind. Nice. He's right in. That's mom. Okay, just get reboot. Okay, yep, yeah, nice. Shit. Yes! I'm, I'm dead, bro. Let's go, you're crazy! You're crazy! Oh, fucking, holy shit! With some more consistent games, I end up getting 96th place, which is finally what I wanted, a top 100 placement. And following that, I play the last Dura Cash Cup of Chapter 4. And in game 9, I go absolutely crazy. 14 4 damage. Cracked him. Whites, one shot. I'm, I'm right ramming down on the field. It's one shot, one HP. In my box. Oh, he landed in my box. Kid right here. Kid under. He's dead. He's literally built up here. Attack that guy for a bit. Now to end chapter four off, I end up hitting four clips in a row, which were pretty crazy.
concluding chapter 4, season 4, we go into OG Fortnite, which is actually the start of my 6th month. Now, I would just like to say, I understand that in this 6 month progression, I haven't explored creative as much, as I actually played a lot of creative during this time, and I sat in Panville 1v1 zero delay for hours every day, because I just loved build fighting and trying to become a more mechanical player. But going into OG Fortnite now, I play some tournaments, but not much of it happens. But then I play this ranked game, and I kind of go crazy. Nick, I'm, I'm not with bro. I'm too oh, sure kill me. I'm dead, I'm dead. What? Nick, if you die, you're actually crap. I hope you know. Nick, that's the guy who killed me. Oh my god. Already, just pre emo pre emo Where's the gate piece? I'm coming. I think I swear to God, if you die. Holy fucking shit, holy. I think I might be dead. Yeah, there's a kid. Alright, come on. What? Dead. Cracked? I need help, Nick. <laughs> Where are you? Bro! Oh. Nick is him. Box. Nick. Nicholas. Is there any ammo? No, I shot him. He's cracked, cracked. He's in. He's still in here. One HP. It's another kid. It's another kid. Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. I don't have a way to get back. I'm dead. Right. dead. No, I'm fucking him. I'm actually Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you win this, 100 bucks. Oh my god. No. Oh my no no no! You're gonna win. Clip him. No. Clip him. Do it. Let's go, I'm actually, I am crazy. <laughs> Following that insane game of ranked and probably the best ranked game I've ever played in my life. It's time for the last tournament of the six month progression where I play the solo victory cash cup. Where if I make finals and I win a game, I earn a hundred dollars. Let's go crazy boys! With another good game, I managed to qualify for the solo cash cup finals, ending on a pretty good placement. Now in finals, I died off spawn in my first two games. So in game three, it's all or nothing. Can I make my first earnings?
honestly, even looking back at it now, it still annoys me that if I didn't go and try to farm for that one extra build, I probably could have won that game if I just sat with my shoddy. Anyway, to conclude the video, I'd just like to show you my latest placements, just to prove how much I improved compared to the placements I showed earlier.